someone would type exclamation mark mute in your chat, press enter. Look around, everybody on mute. And now 30 seconds timer until it goes all the way down and it resets itself. Hey, I got a DM from Dagichi Gamer and she said, Hi, I have a question. I want to make a command in StreamerBot where when the chat types mute, it plays look everybody on mute. And then my mic is muted for 30 seconds with my screen grayed out with a mute symbol over it and a 30 second timer. Do you have a video somewhere with something like that? Now, of course, I answered that I don't have a specific video on that. But if she watches all of my videos on StreamerBot, the combined knowledge will help her make it. I then sent her instructions, but then I realized this is a pretty cool idea. So I asked her, hey, can I actually make a video about it? And she said yes. So here we are. We might get hit by copyright, so I'm most likely not going to make money on this video, but it's such a cool idea that I'm still going to do it. So if you're a Beyonce fan and you like this song, stick around. Let me show you how to do it. All right. So the first thing you need is the sound sample. So you can go through whatever means you want to actually download it. I like to use voice mods Chrome extension to actually record whatever is playing in my Chrome tab. So I would play the part, click record, wait for it to happen and then click stop. Now I have a visual of what I just recorded. We know that it mutes right after she says mute. So we can drag the handles and get ourselves a perfect sample. When I'm done, I just click download. All right, first step is done. So here we are in OBS studio. You're gonna pick the scene where you want this to happen. And the other thing that we want is a mute icon to be on screen. So we need an image of a mute icon. This is where our best friend Google comes into play. Uh, we're gonna go on Google images and we're gonna find a mute icon that is uh, not for sale, basically, that is free to download and free to use. I ended up downloading this one, just right click, save image as, and it's a PNG. Now let's bring it into OBS by clicking the little plus button to add a new source. We're going to pick an image source. We're going to name this one um, mute icon and we're going to find it wherever we downloaded it. Boom. I'm going to press control D to center it. And uh, it's not going to be centered centered because we need to have a timer. So I'm going to put this up like that. Another thing that was mentioned in the DM is that we want the screen to be grayed out when this happens. So I'm going to right click on the scene itself. I'm going to go to filters and we're going to add a color correction filter. So click on the plus for a new filter color correction, click OK, saturation, lower that all the way down. And there you go. Now, if you want to play around with the contrast, make this look a little bit better. Cool, 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 cool. If you want the mute icon to be white instead of black, depending on how your webcam looks, you can right click, go to filters, also add a color correction filter. And from there, you can pick color add, select white. Keep in mind that everything's going to be black and white. So even if you have color, it's going to be black and white. So you decide which one looks better for you. Now let's talk about the timer. There's a gazillion ways of having a timer active in your OBS studio, but I like using a browser source from a specific website. And that website is uh, ecard.enter-media.org slash widgets. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description if I remember. But basically they have some pretty cool looking countdowns and you can also set them to do a little animation when it's over. But that's why I'm going with them. We have some anime type uh, effects that are pretty cool here. Let's go with that one. Make it really fancy. See that? Pretty cool, right? And you can edit the colors. This is going to be black and white anyways, so might as well just make it pop out. Now, if you don't want this to be black and white, what you can do is basically add a black and white filter to only your camera, for example, or your gameplay, if it's going to be on a gameplay scene. But uh, but let's do the simple part. Or is there a link to my YouTube video? What? They added me to their website? No way. <laughs> and this is how I discover it. <laughs> Hey, that's so cool. If you guys are watching, thank you so much. What? Yo. <laughs> so you can customize this however you want. You can change the font and all that stuff. Where it says set time in minutes, I put 0 0.5. So that's 30 seconds. This is where if you want to play a sound at the end, you can basically put the sound here and then control the volume. But we're not going to do that here. Just make sure you click apply. So it applies all of your edits and uh, copy the link. All right, back in OBS, we're going to open up a browser source. Call this one timer. It was 800 by 800, if I remember correctly. Paste the link that you just copied. Click OK. Boom, there it is. And then just basically scale it and place it so it looks the way you want. OK, we pretty much have all the elements. We are going to go into StreamerBot to trigger them. But first, we need to have a clear idea of where exactly in the song we want this to be triggered. Now, of course, you can just play around with the delays until it looks accurate, but I'm going to upload it in an audio software called Audacity and I'm just going to figure it out. <laughs> so here we're in Audacity. I'm going to go to file, import, audio, and I'm going to find the audio that we downloaded. Okay. We know it's here. We're going to play it. 
I'm like, I'm not going to play it for you, but <laughs> all right. So I know it's around here. So that is one second, 1.90 seconds. So that's 1900 milliseconds. Of course, that is if we play the sound first. All right, let's open up StreamerBot and make this happen. This is StreamerBot. I'm going to right click, click add it to add a brand new action. I'm going to call it on mute. Click OK. Let me rearrange this a little bit. And for the sub actions, of course, we can um, play the song. There's multiple ways of doing this. You can tell Streamerbot to play a song directly, or you can bring that song into OBS or your file as a media file, which is what I like to do sometimes. Media source, press enter and go find it. It's right there. And just click OK. You don't have to loop it. Just click OK. And we don't hear it, but we saw it play right there. On mute audio appears in my mixer. If I turn it off and I turn it back on, it plays. Boom. Cool. So now our audio is basically a source. We can just make it visible in order to play the song. With that in mind, you can right click OBS sources, set source visibility state. Here you pick the scene and then you pick the, the right source, which is on mute audio state is visible. Click OK. So step one, play the song, but then wait a couple of seconds, like wait a little bit delay. And we had 1900 for the delay from then. This is where I want you to turn on the filter, for example, and the order doesn't matter. It will basically do all of the rest at the same time. So OBS scene, scene filter state, the scene is mute scene. The filter is color correction and we want it to be visible. All right. Now OBS sources, source visibility state, and we're going to turn on the mute icon visible OBS sources, set source visibility state. And this time we want the timer to turn on. I don't know if I explained that, but basically uh, browser source timers, you see it stops at one. If I turn it off, so I hide it and I make it visible again, uh, nothing happens unless I double click on it and click shut down source when not visible. Click OK. And now it resets. OK, so basically every time someone triggers this, I turn this off, goes back to 30 seconds. Cool. There's a slight delay, so we'll probably have to add one second to it. OK, so the next action is to mute the microphone. We're going to do that by cl right clicking OBS sources. And this time we're going to go to set source mute state. And something interesting is going to happen here. What's going to happen is that you're not going to see your desktop audio or your mic because those are not necessarily sources. They are just your audio mixer. But since StreamerBot is all powerful, all we have to do is copy the name and just type it. So mic auxiliary and we can set it to muted. OK, quick recap, play the song, wait until she says mute, go black and white, show the mute icon, show the timer, actually mute my mic. And now the timer is going on. We will wait. I'm going to go to core delay and we know it's 30 seconds. So 30,000 milliseconds, we're going to give it 32,000. So once this whole thing is over, what do we do? We just do everything in reverse. For example, we want to turn the mic on again. I'm going to right click on this one that I already made. I'm going to duplicate it. It's going to put it at the bottom. So now I can double click and set it to not muted. Now watch out because you actually need to type the name again. Click OK. We want to hide the timer, right? Duplicate it. Double click. State hidden. We want to hide the mute icon. Duplicate. Double click. State hidden. We want to turn off the black and white filter, duplicate, double click, state hidden. And finally, to get it prepped for the next time, we're going to mute the song, right click, duplicate, double click, hidden. Now, cool thing with StreamerBot is that you can choose whatever you want it to be triggered with. In this case, the Geechee Goddess asked for a command, so we're going to do a command. So core, commands, command triggered, we're going to create a command from there. Call it everybody on mute. Do not worry about all the options for now, at least. And under commands, you just want to put exclamation mark mute and click OK. OK, that's it. You should be done. So if I bring my chat here, I'm going to trigger it once so that it resets itself by typing exclamation mark mute. Oh, yeah, I forgot it last 30 more than 30 seconds. <laughs> I was like, wow, is it this? Not, is this not working? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it reset itself. Cool. Oh, one last thing, actually, if you want to hear the audio, it's pretty important that you um, let me turn it on real quick here. I'm going to open the advanced audio properties and where it says on mute audio, you want to set it to monitor only mute output. That means you'll be able to hear it. It will be picked up by your desktop audio, but it's not going to be double just like an alert. So that's pretty important. 
All right, and now we can test it. As per request, someone would type exclamation mark mute in your chat. Press enter. Look around, everybody on mute. And now 30 seconds timer until it goes all the way down and it resets itself. And you can see here, it actually muted the mic in OBS and it will bring it back up too. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Automatically, it does all of that. Now, of course, I would not advise you to use this as a command because it feels pretty disruptive. I would say maybe a channel point that is very expensive or behind bits or maybe resubs or something like that, gifted subs perhaps. But at the end of the day, you do whatever you want with it. All right, let's try it one more time. So you're live streaming and someone decide to hit you with the mute challenge. They type exclamation mark mute in your chat. They press enter and this happens. Look around, everybody on mute. Timer shows up, your mic is actually muted, okay, in OBS, so they won't be able to hear you for the next 30 seconds until the timer goes down to zero, and then everything gets reset back to normal. Your mic is going to go back live, and um, you'll be Gucci. Two, one, and... There it is. And you can see the mic is back online. Thank you so much, the Geechee Goddess, for the idea. And now, if you're watching this, you can also do it or use a different song or do a different challenge or whatever. Anyways, that was fun. Follow me on Twitch. Thank you for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out.